Hey, what's going on? We have a flat and we don't have a jack and the thing to remove the, the spare tire. Everybody, it's Tate from Austin and Tate. I am so excited to share this video with you today. This is from our trip to Tanzania that we took back in August where we visited with different kings and chiefs from the Maasai tribe. This trip was truly epic. We learned so much about the tribe's culture, their history and tradition and had an incredible trip. It's probably one of my highlights of the year and I'm so excited to share it with you. But first, let's go back to that whole tire situation. We started off our trip on the wrong foot, or the wrong tire, I should say. And keep in mind, we were in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near a town. We didn't have a spare tire on the vehicle, no tools to put on a new tire. And so we truly were stuck. Let's find out how we fixed it. Hey, hey what's going on? We have a flat and we don't have a jack and the thing to remove oh, the, was, the spare tire. Oh, you were looking no, he was taking me to rent a jack. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, Where and then I saw you just, uh, I think, a mile okay. from here. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, hop in. Uh, Yo. Dude. <laughs> what is going on, bro? Welcome to the middle of nowhere with a no, broken no, car. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> We are currently on the side of the road in the middle of Tanzania trying to drive to our first location. Thankfully, our car was behind the car or else we would have just kept going and our other vehicle would have stayed here until the rest of the night we would have arrived where we're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Because this car does not have a jack or a spare tire or anything like that, so we're going to use, thankfully, our other vehicle is the same model. And we're going to use the spare tire and jack from that vehicle. Thankfully, our second vehicle had a spare tire and the tools to put that spare on the first vehicle, and so we weren't stranded, thankfully. After a few days of visiting various chiefs and kings around Tanzania, this day we were visiting with one of the major kings of the tribe, of the Maasai tribe. And so a lot of anticipation was building up to this day. For those of you who don't know, what my husband and I do is we train Christian chaplains for the traditional leaders all around Africa. This is someone who is of assistance to the king or chief to help guide them and help them lead their people in a godly manner. And so we were here in Tanzania to meet with the leaders of the Maasai tribe to see if they wanted to receive a chaplain. Here's how this day went with the king. I said, what are we doing today? We are heading to go meet with the king of the Maasai tribe. And when they told us, like, hey, you got to dress in Maasai attire so that we can meet the king, I jumped on that. So Levi right now is looking pretty good over there. Morning, Levi. Morning. Oscar is proper Maasai mm -hmm. guy now. It is going to be an incredible day today. This little guy is enjoying his breakfast too. We then had to drive a couple hours from the town that we were staying in called Morogoro to the palace. Now, we weren't exactly sure how to get there. Our, our One of our friends from the Maasai tribe was able to guide us to the general direction, but once we got close, we needed some help to find out how, how to get to the palace. For me, I know if we lay hands or hands. What's happening, Austin? Right now, the Maasai king has gone off into the, the, the wilderness to like do traditional medicine and to help like heal his body there. So right now, they've just gone to go fetch him and then they'll bring him back for us to share. But we got um, Oscar, Jeremiah ready. We got Alex and Levi here. So we're excited for the meeting. 
For those of you who don't know much about the Maasai tribe, the Maasai tribe is a beautiful tribe full of rich culture, history, and tradition. They are primarily in Kenya and northern Tanzania, are semi-nomadic, and are well known for their various cultural dances, their attire, and their traditional religion. One thing that I learned that I absolutely love about the Maasai tribe is that they value their culture and tradition so much. Even as the world and the country of Tanzania continues to develop and evolve into modern society, the Maasai tribe have stayed true and held on to their culture and tradition. You'll be driving through a city, a modern city in Tanzania, and you'll be able to pick out a Maasai because they'll still be wearing their traditional attire. It's absolutely beautiful to see the pride and the loyalty they have to their tribe. Another thing that was fascinating to me is the Maasai tribe are huge cattle herders. There literally are just cows everywhere all over Tanzania. And the Maasai, what they primarily eat is beef, milk, and the blood from cows. And it was so funny, our friend who's from the Maasai tribe was like, yeah, you know, the Maasai, they own all the cows in the world. The other people that have cows, they're really, they're just borrowing them from the Maasai tribe. So we absolutely loved learning so much about the culture and the history of this people group. And it was just incredible to even be immersed into it and get to experience some of it for ourselves. What just I, happened? Uh, so we just met with chief and went well he received us very well and um have a great relationship with him so now we're waiting for him he's gonna put on his traditional clothes and we're gonna take a photo together and hopefully share the gospel with him and see if he wants to have a chaplain guys i mean he went really good mm -hmm. oh. We had a very successful meeting with the king and are excited to continue building relationship with him into the future. Then afterwards we were off to the next town where we would be spending the night. <laughs> What's going on? So we just arrived to the town. Um, there is two restaurants in the town. We are in one of them. Here it is. He's cooking the meat over there. But there's no meat in the town, apparently, for sale. That, that meat's already been sold. So, um, I guess we won't have meat for dinner tonight, but we'll have rice. So, rice with rice is, is great. Plain rice. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyways, amazing day. Huge. That's a huge bust. I'm surprised nobody just died right there. Um, but we're we're here with the chief. We've had a great day today, and couldn't honestly be happier. We ended our day by visiting a local Maasai market, full of vendors with different Maasai clothes and jewelry and food, and they even has spears and knives that the tribe uses and so of course the guys all wanted to get their hands on those and we ended the day by sitting around together with some new friends we made from the tribe enjoying some of the smoked beef that they make and so it was an epic day very successful day with the king and just getting to be a part of the tribe that is the Maasai and so this trip was one to remember we had such a great time and had huge success for tribal chaplaincy with the kings and chiefs. Many of them were excited and ready to receive a chaplain. Even if they weren't necessarily a Christian, they were like, yes, I want someone in my palace to help guide me and give me counsel because my role as a leader is difficult. And so yes, please come back and I wanna have a chaplain. And so we're super excited to later on this year, 2024, go back to Tanzania and start training chaplains for these leaders and then expanding into the palaces of other leaders as well. So thank you so much for watching. Follow along as my husband and I bring you in to what it's like living in Africa. See you next time, bye. Oscar, what's up ahead? Uh, there's a bush just moving up ahead, I don't know. <laughs> It's just a big bush. It's just a bush on wheels. <laughs>